In the recent times, have you noticed that the flight prices have gone over the roof, way too expensive? If you have noticed that or even felt that pinch, you are not the only one. Just like everything else, flight prices have also increased significantly since the pandemic. But thankfully, there are some tips and tricks that you can use to save hundreds of dollars. Only in the last two years, I've saved over $3,000 using these tips and tricks during my multiple visits to India, Europe and US. So in this video, I'm going to reveal all those secrets, all those tips and tricks, those travel hacks that can easily save you hundreds and thousands of dollars every year. And if you watch this video till the end, I have a bonus tip for you that could add up your savings even more. Don't go anywhere. We'll start this video right away. Right from the starting, let's start with those travel hacks or tips, whatever you may want to call it. Technical hidden secrets to outplay the airline's hidden techniques. Now, unfortunately, there's no data to back it, but many people say, and I've also personally noticed that the airlines do use your search history, the cookies, all those different details to provide you higher prices if you keep looking for any flights on a regular basis for example Toronto to Delhi keep searching through Google flights sky scanner different airlines for the same route for same dates after a couple of days you might notice that the flight prices that you saw on the first day were cheaper than what you have seen just a couple of days later and when I personally noticed that I started using these technical secrets to get even cheaper prices than what I saw on the first day. First of all, try using VPN. This is virtual private network. I'm not endorsing any particular VPN. You can get any trustworthy VPN on the internet. This will stop airlines from tracking your location. After that, coming to your browser. Now, when you're on the VPN, try to avoid the applications or apps. Instead, try to go to a browser like Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox and open those websites. Now, when you open those websites on these browsers, open them in an incognito mode and delete your cookies because this is how the airlines could get your information. Now, it is highly debated that airlines would actually use these cheap tactics of tracking your search history, your location, the cookies to search the prices. But I have personally felt it before I have noticed that I got lower prices when I was using a VPN, incognito window, and that too after deleting my cookies. So it is definitely worth a try. Now, before we talk about the other tips and tricks, let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, ASAP Tickets. Now, of course, using these tips, tricks is some sort of effort and of course requires a lot of time and analysis. If you want to skip all the hassles and still get cheapest flights, ASAP Tickets has your back. Because their travel agents do all the work for you, finding the best itineraries often at the prices you won't find online. And how they're able to do that? Because they have direct contacts with airlines and can mix and match flights, dates, and even airports to find you the lowest fares. And if your travel plans are flexible, even better. They'll make sure you get the best deal fast. Who doesn't love discounts? Because you're a part of Dream Abroad community, ASAP Tickets has been kind enough to offer $70 off on all international flights if you use the coupon code mentioned in this video. So if you want to book phone exclusive deals that aren't available anywhere else, call ASAP Tickets to receive personalized service while saving both time and money on your international flights. Okay, tip number two. Try to travel through major airports, some major international flight hubs. For example, I live around one hour drive from Toronto Pearson International Airport, but unfortunately it's not the travel hub. Earlier this year when I was traveling to India, I tried taking the flight from New York and that made me save over $2,100 for two people. Let me show you how. So here I'm searching for a flight from Toronto to New Delhi from 1st of December to 15th December. The average prices are more than 2200 per person. If you look for more cheaper options, these are like 39, 40 hour flights. So of course you don't wanna take that. Now, if you compare the prices from New York to Delhi for the same dates, 
the prices for a direct flight is less than 1300 Canadian dollars, while the non stop flights from Toronto to New Delhi are almost double the prices. Now, of course, this was just an example, but you might say that if you're living near Toronto, then traveling to New York, you would need to pay something. So, of course, you won't be able to save those $1,100 in a return flight. I totally agree. But the flight from Toronto to New York might be two to $300. So, even then, you might end up saving seven to $800 per person or maybe $1,500 if you're a couple. Now, if you want to save even more, you can literally drive from Toronto to New York or take a bus from Toronto to New York and the other way around as well. But that would be a little more hassle. But irrespective of your commute from Toronto to New York, you would still save hundreds of dollars if you travel from New York to Delhi instead of Toronto to New Delhi. Again, this was just an example. You would need to look at your destination, your closest aviation hub and other factors as well. But I hope you get the idea behind this travel hack. Okay, the next point could also be very handy. Timing. Timing is the key both the travel dates and the days when you book the ticket. First, let's talk about the travel dates. Now, of course, you want to avoid those peak travel dates when the charges or the flight prices are very high. If you haven't got any particular dates when you have to travel, then it might be a lot more cheaper for you. For example, if you can skip traveling during Christmas and New Year's, of course, you would save hundreds of dollars. Similarly, if you can avoid traveling during Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, then you could get cheaper flights on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Now about the time of booking. For some strange reason, people say that if you book flights during Tuesday midnight, which means between Monday and Tuesday, the midnight of Tuesday, during that time, the prices are slightly cheaper. Now, I haven't personally checked this, but I've read many blogs where people have mentioned this so it is worth giving a try as well for domestic flights you should book it between two to four months in advance and for international flights around six to eight months in advance to get the best prices so if you have to go for a vacation some of my friends usually select their dates as per their comfort get their office leaves approval and then after that they book the flights during that time window but i do it the other way around I actually look for the flights, the cheapest options using all these travel hacks. Then I quickly talk in my office, get the approvals for the time off, and then right then on the same day, try to book the flights so that I don't miss the cheaper flight prices. Okay, the next trick is to use your air miles and your credit cards wisely. Now in the past decade, I have traveled a lot. And how dumb was I? not to realize the power of credit cards, air miles, the frequent flyer programs. But in the last few years, as I got more aware about these things, I've saved hundreds of dollars only by using my air miles, uh, the frequent flyer programs, different credit cards. Now, for example, because I live close to Toronto, a lot of times I use Air Canada. So they have frequent flyer program named as Aeroplan and they have multiple options with different banks for Aeroplan credit cards. So now I always use my Aeroplan credit card to book my flights from Air Canada and there are multiple benefits. First of all, you don't have to pay for luggage one bag per person. It's completely free. So if I have to travel with my wife within Canada or to US, I save $150 on every trip just by paying through that credit card. Then depending on the credit card, you can get travel insurance or at times trip cancellation, baggage delay or baggage loss. All these kinds of benefits totally free of cost for which you would need to pay at least $100 per trip if you're a couple. Then using these credit cards, you also get some preferred pricing at times. And not to forget, if you use the air miles or the airplane points in case of Air Canada, then you could actually get preferred pricing than what you would actually pay if you're using any other credit card. Again, Chrono, Air Canada, Aeroplan. This was just an example. Almost all the airlines have frequent flyer programs. Most of the airlines also have credit card tie-ups. So if you take advantage of the frequent flyer programs and the credit cards, you could save hundreds of dollars only by using 
this simple travel hack okay so we are about to reach the end of the video but if you are still around as i promised here is a bonus tip you can use google flights pretty wisely many people don't actually know this but google flights is completely free of cost and it offers many features through which you can actually look for cheaper flight options let me give you some examples there are many features that google flights has to offer for example if you have to travel from toronto to los angeles somewhere in february the non-stop flights the best flight prices are for 60 dollars so first of all you can actually track the prices if you enable this you can get notifications in terms of emails when the prices actually change also if you are not rigid about your flight dates then you can actually make it to any dates and you would get those emails when the prices are low for that travel route next you also have a date grid so what it does is that it shows you when the prices are cheaper so it tells you the prices for the complete month for example if you book flights a little earlier in late january then you would save 55 dollars mid of february then you'll find the flights to be a little more expensive now some other features let's say that you're living close to toronto now you have other airports as well for example let's say you can add detroit in here so the good feature about google flights is that it lets you add up to five origin airports and five destination airports so i'm adding buffalo as well because buffalo is also quite close to toronto so now if i check this that will show me if there are other cheaper options so here it's showing me that toronto is the cheapest option but if i change my dates then you would see that the prices are a lot cheaper for example if i move my dates then you would find that from detroit to la the flights are much more cheaper similarly you can add more cities to your destination if there are some airports which are closer by it would search for all those airports and give you the best prices there are many other features in google flights as well if you want me to make a detailed video of the complete tutorial of uh, google flights i can do that let me know in the comments below so that's it for this video thanks for watching but a quick reminder if you book your flights through asap tickets using the coupon code mentioned in the description then you can get a discount of flat 70 dollars so because it's the end of the video maybe now it's the time to click the link below and look for cheaper flight options thanks a lot for watching this video